there's a couple of questions uh, that I want to start today out with, and I'd love for you guys to write these down and uh, maybe give yourself some time to think about it this week. Um, and if you're an agent, I want you asking um, yourself this twofold. You're asking yourself, as an agent or as a rainmaker, how would I answer this for me in leading somebody? Um, and you would might also say, what would this mean for my admin? Um, and then admin, director of operations, you guys are on this role. I want you to answer it um, for yourself on, you know, because you may not 100% know the answer to this, which is going to give you an opportunity to go to your um, team leader, your rainmaker and say, hey, how would you answer this question uh, for, my, for me? So, the first question is, what does peak performance look like in your role? So what does peak performance look like in my role? What does peak performance look like in my role? And agents, I want you to be thinking about this, you know, in my role as a leader, right? Not just as an agent. Um, all right, and then um, number two, what am I doing to generate profit for the business? So I think sometimes if we're admin, we don't think of it that way. And yet we want to always be thinking about generating profit. That can look like getting referrals. That can look like making the, um, the agent's life easier so they have more opportunity to make calls. Um, it could be finding out somebody that's looking to buy or sell a house, but be thinking, what are you doing to generate profit for the business? Number three, what are you doing to decrease expenses without hurting the business, right? There are certain things we don't want to cut. So what are you doing to decrease expenses without hurting the business? Now, depending on how long you've been in that role, you may not know what the expenses are yet. And yet I want you to be thinking about those pieces. Um, so if we're use, utilizing a certain um, database system or we're utilizing a certain, um, I don't know, we're paying for something. Is there a way that we might have an opportunity to go with somebody else that's at a lesser price that gives the same type of opportunity, that type of thing. And number, the last question, um, every day we're, the first part of this is just a statement and then I'm gonna ask a question. So every day we're earning the right for our next opportunity. We're always auditioning for our next opportunity. So the question is, what are you doing to plus yourself in this role? What are you doing to plus yourself in this role? Now those really are more for self-reflection for you guys to be thinking about those. Um, any ahas or questions or anything before we step away from these questions and into uh, some art, the second part of our meeting today. Nope. Okay. Um, and you can always type a message in uh, the group chat. Uh, for everyone, for me, you can come off mute and ask a question. We do definitely want this to be interactive. Okay, so the next piece that I wanted to do, because we do have um, uh, a new a person on here with us. So welcome, Maddie. We, uh, well, we welcome you to today's call. Um, we're going to, I'm going to go back through our, um, our open source, just so we're all familiar, we're all aware of what's in there. We've added some new things. We're going to continue to, to be looking at some of those. Um, you can click on in the chat box is that piece that says open source. Um, again, and if you have something that you're utilizing that's better that you want to add to um, and share with the other agents, you can do that as, by letting us know that as well. So we're about to jump into that um, open source. If you guys want to click on that, that is in the chat box. And then while everybody's opening that, I'd love to hear from, from you guys. So we've been doing this uh, group meeting for a while now. Um, what is it like, cause we're gonna have, we'll have three of these in December and then we're gonna take a pause and we're gonna, we're gonna really interrogate, do we wanna continue these? Um, are they of benefit? What are we getting out of these? That type of thing. And so I'd love um, 
I'd love to hear from you guys. Like if we were maybe share something that you've gotten out of this so far and what you would like to get out of it in December um, so that we can kind of have a, um, well, a plan of attack for December. So who would like to go first? What's something that um, you learned or you would like to make sure and or you would like to make sure that we get that we cover in December that'll take your business to the next level? Olivia? Yes. I think the biggest thing for me is, you know, I haven't been really good at attending this, but, but what I've seen and what I can tell you from just the connection that we've had and obviously having Maddie on board now, which is, makes me so excited, is that the energy and um, the vibration of the energy is so much higher um, in a positive way, knowing where we can go to get information, to organize our business and uh, through the hub and with what this is, is here, I, it's just a game changer. And so I appreciate that part of it. Um, and it also opens up, you know, you're talking about always auditioning for the next opportunity. Well, just some of the things that um, I'm looking at manifesting into Maddie and my world uh, as we move our business forward. Just in the last 48 hours, I've had some really good conversations with people and things that would benefit our business so much in which I want to clarify and go into with you at a different point, but what a huge difference. It's all because I'm actually plugging in to the systems that you're allowing us to be a part of. So um, that's what where I see this helping. Well, I appreciate that so much. That really, there's so much, like, there's so many things that we offer at Keller Williams and MAPS, and sometimes it's hard to like find it or, or not even find it, but like we're also running and going. So I, I love, I appreciate that of, of being able to go, okay, this is where you can come to find out this or the next steps. And so we're always moving forward with that. So I love that. Um, okay. Is there anything in particular, and this would be great, especially because you just like Maddie just started working with you. Um, what is it like if y'all had a magic wand or you had a magic wand, what would we work on in the next three weeks that would really, you feel it would really propel your business forward? Maddie, do you, do you want to chime in on that at all? The next, um, Three um three weeks because um as of now I'm working with the, the um database and after that I think I'm going to work on our smart plan so we can send out um some invites to clients or for new leads and also I'm going to um do our social media so I'm going to boost our social media for us to get more leads. Okay. All right. So, and so far, we're going to um, focus to get more prospects. Okay, perfect. Well, and one of the things that, that my intent is with everybody that's in my coaching schedule, that in the next two weeks, we have your entire, uh, I'm calling it the mind share, but the 36 plan in place, which is with the database. Mm -hmm. um, so we can absolutely, that's something that we can absolutely, I want to hear from everybody else and make sure we're, but that's definitely something that we can focus on on, um, mm -hmm. on these calls as well to make that simple. Okay. Um, perfect. All right. And then, um, Deb, was there anything else you would add to what Maddie shared? Well, I, I do think that that's in my, no, we can hear. Here. Okay. Okay. Um, I do think that's the biggest part. Um, you know, I've kind of gone back through when I'm making my calls here and I'm seeing what the missing pieces are in some of the people in the database. And so if I can get um, some of the missing pieces into place and share those with her, that's going to make a big difference as moving forward and just having a clean database um, moving forward. So um, that's part of the concentration I have with the daily phone calls. Okay. Awesome. Perfect. Okay. Um, all right. Who else? Um, Tanya or JB, um, what are you guys getting out of this? What would you like the next three weeks? Because one thing I don't want to be like, sometimes um, 
especially, you know, maybe you're on here and you're an admin, you're like, I'm here because my rainmaker told me to be here. Um, that's never fun, right? So what is it that for you, if, if you were able, you know, what would make it a worthwhile value for you to be here um, over the next three weeks? Who's going to jump in there? Well, I, I will say just having an hour with you just to listen, whether I participate or not, I always get value um, because I think you're brilliant. Um, but one good thing is, is you constantly, even though Julie cannot be here, it, it also gives me um, reference to some of the things that she can do that I didn't even realize that she could do and that I can just give it to her. Mm -hmm. That has changed my life um, drastically. That's huge, right? Because there, there's so often, if, we've, if we haven't had an admin before, or maybe we've had one and we didn't even know, like you said, there's an opportunity to give this or that, then we maybe put it in a bubble and get stuck. So that's awesome. Um, okay. And then for you, Tanya, in the next 30 days, um, or the next three weeks of what we're working on here, what would, what would be like, if you would be like, man, if we had that, or if I knew that or knew how to tell Julie do that, what would that piece be for you? If, if, if she can get me under control with my budget and, um, I'm, I'm not naturally, I want to be organized, but it's like too much work for me. So she is helping me simplify the things that I need to do, and then she can take it and finish it out. But I need things to be simple. Otherwise, I don't have time and I'm not going to follow through. Yeah. Well, and that's such a, the important piece. Anytime we are creating anything, if it, if it ever, and I'll, I'll highly encourage you guys, if I ever show you something and it feels, um, it feels overwhelming now, and that's going to happen sometimes, but we want to be able to break it backwards to make it simple and then simple and simple because otherwise none of us are going to do right. Cause if we can't make it simple, it means we really don't understand it yet. Um, so yeah, absolutely. So, um, making it simple. And I'll say that I know that, um, what you and, and Julie and I talked about today was that database. So we're going to look at some of that and this will help you continue to have that conversation with her as well. Okay. Um, all right. Um, and then JB and even Mon, uh, what would you guys uh, really make sure happens here in the next three weeks? It's tough to say for me because I'm doing so many different things. And the thing I like the most about this call is like, as Tanya said, sometimes I'm not participating, but I just hear what you guys are saying. And then when I come across something that I don't know how to do, I remember that we talked about it. So then I can go back to the open source and find what I need. Um, I usually don't have any like big struggle where I'm like stuck because if I'm stuck, then I ask for help. So like, I don't usually like have like five or six questions of things that I'm stuck on. So I don't usually come with questions, but just like listening to how you guys deal with things uh, just helps me enough to like, get everything I need to be done, uh, done. So, okay. Yeah. And then for the next three weeks, I don't know, like we are probably going to start playing the next year. I think we have a meeting next week. So I think I will know more at this time if I have some big, uh, task for next year and if I know how to tackle it or not. So I think it will come a little later. Okay. Okay, perfect. And one of the things, um, then as y'all are um, in that meeting, if there is something in there, you might bring it to us and say, hey, this is what I've been, you know, this is what I've been, you know, tasked to do. Is that already out there somewhere? Is there an easier, uh, better way to do that type of thing? Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, perfect. And then, um, Mon, is there anything? Um, oh, and then this, this is the other thing. Um, I know Mon's going to demonstrate something for us today. Um, through Google that may be beneficial, but that would be the other thing. Um, if y'all come across something that you think, wow, this would benefit everybody else if they knew this, feel free to say, hey, you know, raise your hand and bring that on to this call. Um, that way we're all learning from one another. Um, 
Mine for you for the next three weeks, is there anything in particular that if we covered or if we worked on uh, would bring additional value to you? Um, I'll say, let me add Dinah first because she came in. Um, okay, right there. Okay, so for me, for the next um, following weeks, I would say, you know, we continue the things that, you know, we used to discuss uh, that, you know, will help agents and admin. What I like the most actually with, with uh, what we are doing here is that you constantly break down those huge tasks um, that we normally like, you know, see as an obstacle. Right. So uh, whenever we have or we are having these discussions, we, you know, you, you tend to make us realize that these huge tasks can be done if we will break them down into small pieces. So, uh, though, you know, that's one of those things that I like, you know, on, on these masterminds that we're doing. Okay. Very cool. Awesome. Um, and is there anything um, in particular that you would like to get, you know, in the coming weeks? Um, I'm, I'm not, I'm not really specific into anything. Um, but I think, uh, with what I will be sharing today, um, might be beneficial for the rest and, uh, could be, you know, could be another or an additional topic that we may discuss, um, on our next meetings. Um, it will be about Google Sheet. Uh, with the usage of import range function. So for some who knows on how to use this, feel free to share what you guys know about, um, about the topic. Um, but I'll, I'll be demonstrating on how to use that later. You can make use of this on your trackers. Okay, perfect. Um, all right, awesome. And then, um, so Donna, you came in and one of the things that we were looking at is, um, what we want to like what we've gotten out of this so far and then these um uh, tuesday webinars and what is it that we want to you know what will it what will make it beneficial for you in the next you know the next three weeks because we'll have three more of these um before we end out this year i love hearing about when everyone's uh when they talk about their new processes and procedures and what's working for you and to be able to duplicate it to me that's huge because uh, you don't know what you don't know. And so a lot of times somebody will say something in this group and it's like, yeah, oh, you know, and that's what I absolutely love about this and is uh, it's just learning from each other because we're all working at home. We're not exposed to a lot of people or ideas or conversations. And so this is the opportunity to do that as, as and it's a smaller group. And so it's easier to talk and, and really share ideas. A lot of the office calls that I get into, you know, there's so many people that there's really it's one person talking we listen and you leave. Oh, we just lost you donna oh can you hear me now i'm back no i can still hear. muted can you hear me now i don't know we, uh, we can hear her no oh olivia can't so it's just really the sharing and the pro now i can't hear her the processes yeah. and procedures that um and the ideas that's what I like. Okay. Perfect. And so just more of that, just how, how, you know, when you guys get up in the morning, what do you do? How do you set up your day? And, and maybe what you do a little bit different, that's, that's really successful and working for you and sharing that. Okay. I love that idea, right? Everybody, like what's working, where do you, um, I love, love that piece. Um, okay. So, um, one of the things that I'm, so we're going to go through the hub and we're going to, Maddie's new to this. We always, we always going to go through the, probably the, you know, we're going to go through that hub again really quickly to just touch on that. Um, and then I'm going to share um, uh, something around the database, because again, my intent is that we have that 36 touch for everybody's business um, in the next two weeks, the month at the latest, but really we want to do that in the next two weeks. Um, and so as the, you know, if you're an agent getting your admin to help you with this or as the admin, um, really understanding this at a high level so that you can help your agents. Because when we look at how can you help the team with profit, we know that the database is the number one thing. 
So the more we can help them grow the database and stay in touch with that database, the bigger opportunity you're going to have to increase the profit uh, for the team, which in turn, right, increases everybody, you know, everybody's profit. So, um, all right. And then, um, and then uh, Tanya, um, I did not, so we had Tanya Bounds. We also have um, uh, Tanya and Tanya, I don't know that I know your last name, but if you're here, I'd love to hear from you about what you'd like to get out of uh, these calls for the next three weeks. Um, can you hear me okay? Yes. Okay. Um, I'm just really want to build on what you we've already been covering um, because as you know, Tracy and I are just kind of trying to find our flow between the two of us, um, especially with the additional businesses. So just all the organization stuff that everybody's tools that they're using is really helpful just because we're trying to figure out our, how we're going to make this work. <laughs> so. Yeah. Okay. Fair enough. Fair enough. Okay. Perfect. And something, I don't know, I don't remember if you, you may have been on that call and if you weren't, um, you can make a note in the box and I'll have um, mine send it to you. We did um, two group calls in uh, November and one of those were basically how to, how to boss your boss. Um, and that delegation loop, I think that those could both be very helpful for you too. So um, we can have, he can send those to you. If you just send him a private message, he'll, he'll send those to you. Um, yeah, absolutely. All right, perfect. Okay, so um, we're going to do open source, and then we're going to look at math at the, the mind share piece, and then we're going to turn it over to mine, and he's going to share. Um, so if we look at, uh, again, the open source, this is going to be in your Rainmakers hub. Um, can everybody see my screen yet? No. Okay, let me, I didn't hit share screen. That's an operator error. One second. Okay. Um, so you can find this in your Rainmakers hub and we are, I'm still going to go back through and I'm going to, uh, make all of these by specific topics like social media, contract to close and things to that effect. And yet, um, always know that you can come here and these are great pieces because we've are right. These are things, systems that people have already created. Um, so, uh, um, so I'll Maddie, as an example, since you like you've just started with uh, Deb, there's a video here about the life of a lead from cultivate to close. So anytime we're talking about web leads and how to operate web leads, that's a great one to know uh, to go back and watch um, creating templates in Gmail. So we talk about like every time a um, we get in an offer and we type the same things in. Well, instead, you know, come up with and there's an example of of um, what that looks like. So you just have to change a few, um, you know, what's specific to that offer. Um, it makes it a lot easier when you're communicating with those buyers and sellers. Um, there's examples of buyer seller letters here. Um, so, and this is the thing, you might not all use this. And um, this is something that I'm gonna suggest that um, if you haven't thought about it, do it. So for instance, and this might be something that you bring up to your Rainmaker. So um, in January, if you, and you want to start thinking about this now, but everybody that you've, that y'all have had a closing with this year, um, they're, they need their settlement statement for a closing. Well, I mean, for their taxes. Well, odds are they're stuck somewhere, right? They, so this is just a really nice way to so put your logo at the top and whatever day as the new year begins, we, uh, we face the fast approaching tax season as the state draws near. We know you'll need the enclosed closing statement. If you're like most people, you probably filed your copy so efficiently you can't find it. Since we know your account will be asking for it, we thought we could save you the time and provide it for you. As you know, referrals are a large part of our business, blah, blah. So um, Tanya, this was the, the note that you and I were talking about earlier today. Um, you put that with the HUD, and then everybody that had a closing, right, that's one touch with everybody that you had a closing with this year. Now, in the future, what you might do is every time you have a closing, have a file folder uh, somewhere and you have the settlement statement, you put the letter, you go ahead and, uh, you know, address it, do everything except the stamp and put it in a, a box, right? And then that way, next January, you literally just take that box to, um, the post office, stamp them and mail them, 
right? So it's just making that part of the process. So things like that um, is in this open source. Um, how, in, how inappropriate would it be to send it to both? Oh, I would send it. Well, so ha. this is the answer. This is how I will answer that. Um, personally, I would send it to both as long as the other agent wasn't with Keller Williams. Um, we call that orphan clients. Um, and so absolutely, you could add those to your database and you could send it to both. Um, okay, and then uh, there's some things about expires, brochures, uh, how to sell, how to sell. There's some brochures in there. Um, for so like um, for you, uh, for the rainmakers, um, this is when you're hiring somebody. So these are like, what decisions can your admin make without your input? What do they need to, to, to do and then tell you about? What do they need to do and they, didn't, they don't need to tell you about? And what are the things they need to ask before they do? So that's a way to set that up. So even if you're the admin, um, creating this and going back to your Rainmaker and saying, hey, you know, I'm doing this. You've given me permission to do that. Which part of this do I need to do? Like maybe before I spend money, I need to come back and okay that with you or before I spend X amount of money. Um, there's a honeymoon. Um, so, uh, Maddie for, uh, every time Deb takes a new listing, <clears throat> Deb, this may not be something that you do right now, but in the next 60 to 90 days, when you get to that contract or close part, being able to come through and edit this, um, <clears throat> so that whenever y'all get a new client, um, within 24 hours, maybe they get a, um, um, a text or an email or a phone call from Maddie saying, you know, hey, I'm Maddie. I work with Deb. Um, you're going to be getting blah, 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 blah. If you need anybody, you can call me. They get a thank you for a listing email. Uh, calls to confirm receipt of the thank you. Um, there's an email that goes out about advertising. Um, if there's a buyer specialist, they go and preview the property. Um, and then... Um, Within that first week, Deb, you would call back and say, hey, thank you for, you know, listing. You'd ask for a referral, right? So these are just some different checklists instead of having to come back in and create your own if you don't already have one. Um, contract uh, buyers and sellers closings um, for that would be a great one to go through with your admin so that they understand the entire step-by-step -step of the process from contract to close. Um, there's also scripts in here. So... I, I'll kind of pause in what I'm sharing here. And yet y'all now know, like, just kind of go through, if you haven't been through all of these, you might have a plan to go through one a day, one a week. Um, and that way you see what's already out there um, for you as well. Um, and there's even Deb, like this, uh, um, let's see. Uh, there's an example on here. Um, mine, you may know the answer to this more than me. There's an example on here of like communicating with your admin. Mine, what did we name that one? Is this on here? Let me just, let me check. Um, is that is that through Google Doc or that's yeah, different? It's kind of like... Uh, we the one you and I share, but we had created it for agents, um, agents and admin. Oh yeah, um, we got that here. Let me just check what we named it. And while you're looking for that, I'm going to go ahead and have every. I'm going to show everybody. So this Mindshare GPS 411 36 Touch system. I'm going to pull this one up um, while he's pulling that. Um, this 36 Touch. Um, so I'm going to highly suggest that everybody read this. I've asked all of my, um, all the agents that coach with me to read this. And I'm going to ask all of you, it's not most of this, especially if you've been, you know, with your, uh, working with your agent for a while, you're going to be familiar. And yet this makes sure everybody's on the same page and there's no confusion. Um, so you're going to go through, read this, so that you know exactly what a 36 touch is. Um, and ultimately the 36 touch is something that we call, cause we want the mind share of the people that we know. Um, 
you're at your Rainmaker, your agents, you want them to call, like the intent is for them to call that database four times a year or communicate with them in some way, voice to voice, texting, something, because uh, but we do want that. And then we're gonna have some, we wanna set it up. So we're doing at least two client events per year. Um, these are some examples. They may be completely different than this. And then four promotions per year, okay? These things don't have to be big. They don't have to, it's just, and, and, and so, but this is, we want you to read through that so you really understand that at a really, really high level. Um, and then right here where it says 103, the database plan. Um, so if that is a company named Viral Marketing put this together, um, they're amazing. But read through here, you'll get a much deeper understanding as an admin for what you want your agents to do with those. We talk about sending two emails out every month. You'll get a, a deeper understanding of and, and how you can help them do this. Um, and then... Um, um, and then agents, you'll get a much deeper understanding of what you want that look to look like. Um, you can go through all of those, but for what we're talking about today, it's that database plan. Um, and then, so now if we go to this next piece, it's called the mind share. Now I'm showing it to you this way because, uh, well, it was the easiest way for me to show it to you. If you're the agent that's doing this or you're the admin that's taking it to your team to go, okay, you know, I know that Olivia has tasked you with getting your entire 36 touch together um, within the next two weeks. I want to help you do that. You might print this off on a big page and stick it to the wall. Like, there's no right or wrong way for that. Um, this is just the easiest way for me to share with you. If you're really techie, you might decide to do it right here. And then the cool part is, is if you're working from the office, if you're working um, um, overseas or if because of COVID, we all have to work from our house, right? You still have it. You're not going, oh crap, that's at the office. Um, so something that we want to do is um, right here, you have the, uh, if the Rainmaker's utilizing the debt, do the database too, it lets them know who they need to call, what let, so that they need to call anybody with the last name of A&W this first week of January, and they're going to text anybody with the, um, the last name that starts with N. Then, and this is why, like, as a team, y'all can, y'all will decide this. Then you go, okay, um, we know that we want to send two emails out a month. So you could say, you know what, the easiest way that that's going to make it work for my team, this is just an example, is you're going to say, okay, on the 8th and the 22nd, we're going to send an email out. And if we're doing video email, you might want to go ahead and put it on the calendar that, okay, on the 27th or the 2nd or the 9th or whatever day works for the Rainmaker, we're going to get together and we're going to record those two videos for the month at one time. And then I can send them out you know, and then that your admin can send them out on the appropriate time, right? Um, and then you're going to go, okay, well, what are the four promotions that we're going to do this year? Y'all are going to decide as a group. And let's say that one of those promotions is to do the reverse bold 100 or a, um, I don't know, we're going to give a um, free restaurant ticket, maybe you got or a percentage off of a restaurant or something like that, right? I, I'm not... It's, I'm not as tied to what the promotion is, is that, is it in there? Um, because then you go, okay, well, if that's the promotion, you can start backing it up and going, okay, five weeks out, we want to start sharing it with people via email. And then I want to send a text out and maybe I send a, um, um, start doing it in, in calls, right? Like social media, you can go ahead and back that up throughout the whole piece so that we're not having to think about it in the moment. Um, and then you go, okay, well, those are my four promotions. When am I gonna do, when do we want as a team to do the events? Well, you know what? We're gonna do an event in July. Um, my, I, my advice would be to make it as COVID friendly as possible. So what can I do with social distancing or, or, or drive by or, you know, things to that effect. Um, you know, um, so, but utilizing this, so at a glance, you know. Um, so for instance, the if we're going to send an email out on the, um, the 7th, I can put a comment here 
and put email and email. If I'm going to do a newsletter, I'm going to, you know, or a um, client event, I'm going to put it here and then back our way up. Then you can go through and you can count it and go, oh, wow, yeah, that's 36 touches. Matter of fact, that's more than 36 touches um, because you might come in here and go, okay, there's a holiday every month. We're going to send a mass text, holiday text to the database on January the 1st and February the 14th. And right, you see how, um, but that's so that we can see it all at a glance. Now, I know I just threw a whole lot at you guys. Most of you are already familiar with this. That's why I went fast. Some of you might be going, that didn't make any sense at all. Uh, and all of that's okay. Any questions around this piece right now? No? Have, will having this be beneficial for, especially for you that are agents on here, does that help kind of be able to see how to create that for the entire year? Uh, it just takes away those last minute decisions, right? Oh, well, let me, let's do a today, right? It just takes that away. If it's not on the schedule, it's not going to happen. Kind of thing. Yeah. And, and the cool part is you might also come in here and use this. <laughs> um, once you get it built out, then pull out your calendar and go, okay, when am I going to go on um, vacation next year? Well, you might decide, crap, I said I was going to do an event there because I really like the idea, but that's my birthday and I'm going to be in Cancun. So even though that's a great idea, let's figure out a different theme or a different thing I'm going to, you know, I'm going to do that type of thing. Right. Um, so, yeah, I love that. And definitely out of the last minute. Does this because a lot of times this is probably one of the biggest challenges that I see agents have is they intend to have a great 36 touch. But they never can quite put it together. Um so my intent is to help make this easier by being able to just kind of see it at a glance for the whole year. Um, any thoughts on maybe things that y'all have already done um, or, you know, that would make it simpler than this? Or do you guys like this idea? Kind of talk to me about what you guys are getting from this. Uh, on our, our team, we sit down and plan out our entire pot buys for the year and then what events we plan or what to do for the year. Um, on one of the old school, big papers, write it down. The only, what we have found though is, well, one, you have to adapt with COVID. There was several things we didn't, but two, if you fall off the horse and you didn't get something done and then you, you start getting overwhelmed, it's very easy for us. Cause then we just pull out the calendar, go, this is where we're at. This is what, and we just pick up and then you don't, it doesn't just turn to a shamble and build up and build up and you're overwhelmed and not going. You just look at the calendar and you just start over again right where whatever date it is yeah that's a huge piece of having it pre-planned right because it's not yeah you because even if you missed one you go i missed it but this is still where we are yeah i love it perfect anybody else anything you would add subtract questions around okay and um I would go definitely go through and read through all of this and then check out, especially if you guys are thinking about, because one of the things is a lot of times with a 36 touch, we'll send a, you know, we'll use something from command or a database and we'll send out emails. There's nothing wrong with that. Like, especially market snapshots and things like that, that can be very, very good. The thing about what you're going to learn around here in doing those videos is it makes it super, super local, right? So if you talk about, you know, one of the videos that your uh, Rainmaker might do every month is um, what's happening in the market, right? Like, so maybe at the end of, at the beginning of the month, there is a video that they do about what happened last month or what happened in quarter two or something like that, right? Um, it makes it very super local. If you're talking about, I think, uh, Tanya, you had mentioned... Um, the homestead exemption, right? So if, it, you know, that's super local. So that's one of the greatest pieces about this, just being super local. They're short videos. You can then put them on your website. You can then put them on your social media. So definitely check those pieces out to help your rainmakers do that. Um, and then, um, okay. And then I'm going to turn it over to Mon. If you guys don't have any other questions around this, where to find it or anything, then I'm going to turn it over to Mon. And he can, um, he's going to share, share something with you guys today that hopefully will help too. 
Um, Coach, I found the uh, the to-do list that oh. you were looking for earlier. Um, I placed it in our chat box. Okay, awesome. Okay, so I do, thank you for that. I do want to go that, cover this real quick. So can y'all now see this, uh, what I have in the chat, um, or click on what's in the chat box. It's going to say sample to-do list. You should see my screen too. It says current listings. Do y'all see that? So Maddie, this could be beneficial for you. Tanya, uh, uh, both Tanyas. And um, so, uh, um, Donna, you do this, but you do this in Asana, right? So there's, and so there's, I don't care what system that you use, and yet you want to use some type of system. So for instance, um, this is an example of um, a little bit like what I use every day. So on um, Monday morning, when I walk into my office or I sit down in my front of my computer, Mon has already created my list for the week, right? What appointments do I have and things like that. Now, he's not omnipotent. What happens is, is I send him a pic, uh, a copy of my, like I create my schedule for the week. I send him a copy and then he puts it on here, right? Um, for y'all are a little bit different because your, um, your agent schedule might be a little bit more, so, we want, but what we do want to do is make sure we're talking success list and everybody knows what's going on. So for instance, you might have a uh, current listing and then all of your current listings are here and whenever, and they can be clicked on that takes you to either a checklist or maybe two opportunities and your rainmaker at a glance can tell what's been done on that property or what's the next thing. Now, they're, everybody's on the same page, right? Um, and the same thing, and, and then, hey, if they did something and maybe, you know, they text you, you can go put it in there or whatever. The same thing with the current under contracts. Uh, when they click on that, maybe that takes them to a, your checklist that says, right, 109 Mill Street, these are, and they just checked off the things that we've done. Um, then, there, like there's no confusion. And then when you look at the success list, so one of the things that Mon and I do, we found that what, what happens is, is I text him, I email him, I private message him. I'm sure your rainmakers never do that to you, right? Like, so we're communicating and then we're talking on over Zoom. So we're communicating in like 50 different manners. Um, and with previous admin, I discovered that was a problem because things would fall through the cracks. So now if, if I text it to him, if I email it to him, if I put it in messenger, um, he puts it into one place. Um, and, and I do my best and I'm really not great at it. And, and your rainmakers will probably be even worse at it. I tend, what I tend to do or what I like to do is whenever I'm in front of my computer, everything that I need to be done, I'll put it here. Um, and I'll put a by when. Um, but even if I, like I said, I'm out and about or whatever, and I text him, he can put it here. And what you'll notice is when it's green, it means it's done. If it's pink, he's waiting on something for me. Like he can't move forward without me answering that question or doing whatever. Um, and so this does a couple of things. It keeps that communication in check. You know, nobody's saying something as they're walking out of the door and then come back later and go, what, what do you mean you didn't know? I told you. And you're like, what? I was doing 15 things. Um, and it also allows them to be in one spot because the other thing is if your rainmaker gave you a list of 15 things to do today and then um, a list of 15, 15 things to do tomorrow, if they're not in one place for you to be able to say, hey, look, which one's the order of priority? And then they look at it and go, oh, my gosh, yeah, you can't do all those today. Do one, five, and four. That's the priority. That helps you keep them in check as well, right? Um, so something like this. I'm going to share. Uh, so like this. Oh, hold on. I didn't share my screen. I just swapped. And I know that some of you guys have seen this before. Um, I just know personally, uh, this has been the one thing when, whether I was running a team and we were doing hundred, you know, 160 units, um, this is the thing that saved me 
um, as a rainmaker and my admin because we always knew what was going on. So for instance, I get um, I get up on Monday, this is show, this shows up. Every time it's in green, that means that has been done. If it's in red, that means um, he is waiting on something from me, right? And so at the end of the day, um, and then Mon's really good about it. at the end of the day, if I haven't responded to something, he will send me a text and say, hey, you didn't, because I can pull this up on my phone or I can tell him through text and then he can take care of that. Uh, but like he can't finish this until I review the notes, make any adjustments, and then he can do his next piece. Um, green, again, green means done. Pink means we're still working on it. He's waiting for me for something, right? So everybody's on the same page about what is the priority for the day. Um, and then if you guys look at, so maybe you have something like that with your Rainmaker. And then if we click on this unified tracker, this is just stuff that we always are working on. So for instance, this might be, mine's a master list link, which I'll show you guys because I think this is something everybody should use. This is the weekly calendar that I share with you guys about what's the phone calls and things. This is the open source link, coaching homework, um, uh, new client checklist, maps weekly schedule, referral file. So y'all might, this might be your pending list checklist right or something like that something that you want your um you and your rainmaker maybe you use quite often or you might not use this at all right i'm just is there a great way that y'all have of communicating with one another so that everybody knows that piece has been done um the reason i said that we want a master list is if you think about that weekly success list that's like your project list what are we currently working on i'm sure at some point if it hasn't happened to you it will um, your Rainmaker is going to go to a class. They're going to talk to me. They're going to go to something. They're going to be like, hey, we want to do blah, 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 blah. And well, where does that go? And when do we do it? So we have a list. Every time I have an idea, Mon has an idea, it goes on here. And then once a week at our team meeting, we'll come through, we'll review it. And then funny enough, sometimes I go, you can scratch that. I'm never going to do that. Like in the moment, it seemed like a good idea, but I'm never going to do it. Just take it off. And that's okay. Um, or I might go, uh, like we have stuff on here from August. That was when we thought about it, but I'm not ready to implement it yet, but it's stored somewhere. Right. Um, and when it's appropriate, we go, okay, let's go ahead and do that. Let, let's bring it into the week's calendar and we actually get something done. Right. Um, but that way, too, we're just because we had that thought and it seems like a good idea doesn't mean it's a good idea today. Where where, where do we put this um, and then where is it so that we can come back to it? So, Olivia, so is that is that like big vision items go on here? So it can be, business, additional businesses. It can be uh, anything. OK. Yeah, so if you're like, I mean, if you're like, you know what, I want to have a rental property business, stick it on. This is just your master list of all the ideas. If you're like, you know what, we need a better contract to close checklist, stick that on here. Um, anything you already are not doing or you want to make better, if you have that idea, stick it on here, then you can go when do I implement that in the business and where do I implement? Because if right now, let's say that right now that you're, well, let's take uh, the database. Right now, you and Maddie are going to be working on the database. Well, you're going to have, because now you have Maddie, you're going to be like, oh, and I want her to do this and I want her to do that. Well, if exactly. you do all of that this week, <laughs> nothing, you know what I mean? So you stick it on this list so that when you go, okay, we've got that done. Are we freed up extra time? Now let's go, which one of these is the most important for us to pull in? Okay, that's the one we're going to work on now. Okay. Does that help? Okay. Um, okay, so now I am going to, Mon, you've got, you've, uh, let me stop my share. You've got it, share that, and then we'll wrap up. All right, thank you. Um, this will be really quick, maybe, you know, just five minutes or so. Um, what I'll be sharing will be, can you guys hear me? Yes. Okay, great. Um, what I'll be sharing will be um, an action that I, you know, I do or say utilize on a daily basis. And uh, this is related to the trackers that we just 
you know, we just talked about earlier. Um, I say, you know, it's helpful for me because it saves me time um, whenever I am updating trackers or Google Sheets that we have. Um, let me share my screen. Who among you guys already say what used or saw import range in Google Sheets? Anybody use an import range? No, mine. I'm going to say nobody is. Okay. Um, let me, where is that? Let me pull this up. Okay. Now, um, I do have two docs here. Now, um, on a daily basis, you know, I am updating trackers and uh, it gets really tricky if, you know, I'll be updating one tracker and then I'll be putting the same information to other different trackers to say five different trackers. That will cost me, you know, that will cost me how many minutes or hours doing that. So what I'm doing is um, I am putting import range function into other uh, documents or Google Sheets so that if I will update one tracker, that same information will be put on the other five trackers. So um, here's how we will be doing it. So this is, say, for example, the uh, second tracker. And I'll be using open source as my main tracker. So if I will be placing, for example, test in here, and I'd like this value to be placed in here because maybe somewhat I'd like it to be doubled, or maybe this is owned by someone from the team, and you'd like that someone to know that there is um, such information that you place into their tracker. What I'll be doing is I'll use the import range function. So I'll go to the tracker here or the second tracker. I'll put um, the equal sign and then place import range and then follow. Let me just make, wait, give me a second. Let me make this big. It's probably. Um, 150, okay, there, I'll repeat that. Okay, import range. Now import range will have two arguments. One would be the spreadsheet where you will be getting the original info. And the second would be the value of what you will be getting. So for example, I'll be getting the, uh, the info from open source. Now, the first argument would be here, open source. What you have to get here from this page would be the key URL. Now, you will see that here on top of the page. But what I'll be getting would just be the key URL. And that will start from here up until this part. Though it's, you know, string of characters. You can just copy, or if you would like to copy the entire URL, that's okay. That's fine. Now, place it here. Now, you will be placing these codes and then separate it with a comma. And now, we will be following the second argument, which is getting the cell value. Now I'll go back into open source and then look for that cell that I'd like to get. So it's here, the word test. Now I'd like to be specific. I know that this cell is located into this library tab. So I'll put here, there. Now I will put this exclamation point so that I can separate the tab into the cell number. 
So the cell number will fall under A73. So I'll be putting here A73 and then close it. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. Now I can close the string. So once I hit enter, it will give me the cell value here. So it will be the same as what you will be putting here. Say for example, I will change it to something else. Um, the word change. Now it will be automatic for the owner of this file to capture the same info that you have placed into your original file. Now, this will be one good way for you to save time in not updating other files with the same info that, you, that you'd like to place into the original file. And this will also uh, be a good communication for the other owners of the other Excel, or not Excel, Google Sheet file that you are updating their files. So whatever you will be placing here will be updated in the other file. So that's a use of import range. You guys have any uh, questions about it? Did anybody just go, what the hey? <laughs> I love, love that you asked that question. Well, ah. Okay, so basically, is this what you're trying to tell us is that if we come up with something that we feel would be a benefit to everybody that's within the group, we could add it through well, this deal or no? Well, no, if you find something useful, you can just share it with us and we'll update it. This is more of a, um, if you ever find yourself um, having to a spreadsheet. do a spreadsheet or giving it to multiple people or multiple changes. So for instance, this comes in handy for, if you think about the hub that we created for you um, or for your Rainmakers, mine. Um, yes, coach. I was gonna say, have, uh, show them, um, uh, go to the hub. Cause I think this will make more sense. Okay. So um, any, you can go to anybody's hub. So for instance, you might create a, um, a hub for your team, especially right now, because you might be working in the office one day and the next day, you know, you have to, everybody works from home and then you go, I don't have that file or whatever. Well, maybe you create a hub like this for your team, the entire team. So what Ma now can do with that is if he wants something to go from um, the open source onto Andrew's, he doesn't have to copy and paste that whole file. He can just do that thing that he just showed with you right here. And now that page shows up on this page as well. So for some of you, that is nothing that you're dealing with right now. Um, and you can ignore it. For others of you, you're like, oh my goodness, I'm putting that information in here and here and here. That formula would have, would have, would help me. Maddie, does that make sense to you? Yes. Okay, that's all I care. <laughs> yeah, and it's one of those things, if you're not putting in multiple information, you may not need it, but you've at least been exposed to it. And the next time you're like, I'm putting it in 15 places, you'll either remember to go to, like we'll have a recording of this, or you'll remember Mon knows how to do this. Let me reach out to Mon and he'll show me that. Um, yeah. How do you get notified by to the change? Do you get an email? I okay, I was a mute. Uh, now you won't be notified. It will be automatic that the uh, info will be placed into the other sheet. Okay, okay. So you still have to check it. Um, for the others, you know, you for if in case someone owns the other sheet, yes, mm -hmm. you know, you may want to check it just to be sure that it's there. Um, but if the formula here is really, you know, correct, there's really no need for you know for you to check it. It will okay. be automatic that it will be transferred there or it will be replicated. Right. Yeah. And one of the cool things I know that he's done with me, again, everybody, it's different, but one of the things, so like uh, anybody that's in my coaching, like, you know, the prep form that your coaches fill out um, or your agents fill out. Um, 
I report those to my coach. Well, when we put them in the prep form, he created this, so they automatically feed into his. So maybe Tanya, if you're doing anything like this with the, uh, the PC clients, right? When they, when they put in their numbers, how do you automatically feed it to that next location? Could be, yeah. And then again, for some of you guys, you're not here, you're not doing multiple entries and you can completely ignore that. But if you ever get to that point, you know, to come back and, and where you found that out. So. Amon, I will be contacting you in the near future because this would be very helpful with us and our coaching. Because right now I'm just sticking it in another spreadsheet. And so this would be. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Um, we, we are actually using this for, you know, for other people who owns um, who owns their own uh, Google Sheet file, wherein if we will update the numbers using our file, it will auto feed their own file. So that comes the time that we will review them together. We will have the same info. Uh, yeah, we yeah, I definitely need to get with you then because that would really help with the PC part. So. Absolutely. Thank you. You're welcome. Yeah. Um, all right, awesome. See, and that's the thing. We never know when that thing is going to be like, we wouldn't even know to ask necessarily. And again, I will say for somebody that like, when mine shares that, I'm really glad mine knows how to do that because my head, everything goes, Whoa! so it's okay, right? Because that's why, you know, um, if you don't need it, don't worry about it. If you need it later, you'll have your admin reach out to mine and go, okay, could you show me that again? Or I knew that that was possible type thing. So um, just cause small stuff like that will give us our time back, um, very much. So, and give your admin their time back so they can do other things. So, all right, that is where we will wrap based on what you guys shared with me today. Um, the big pieces that we're looking at for the month of, um, December is to, um, continue to look at how do we utilize the, the processes um, to function, um, to make our life easier. Um, and then um, the, uh, oh my goodness, simplifying things and then um, working on the database. So that's kind of what we'll be focused on. Um, and then uh, for the next three weeks or two weeks after this, and then we'll, that'll give us an opportunity to come back and say, do we want to continue doing these in January? Do we want to do something different or, um, or, you know, is, is this what we needed to get out of it for now? So um, with that said, that is our time. You guys have an amazing, amazing rest of your week. If you need anything, reach out and we'll be happy, happy to help. Thank you. All right, thanks. Bye. Bye.